So I've closed out of SolidWorks, and the easiest way to open them all at once is select them all, right click, open. And it'll open each one of those. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble these. After it finishes the opening, let's verify they're all open. Yep, they're all right there. And let's make a new assembly. Okay, and the advantage of opening them is they will populate this list uh, automatically. And so we can start placing them. So you can start with any part uh, you want. I'll start with the front. Uh, if you want to place it at the origin, which is often a good practice, then hit the check for this first one. Okay, and that'll fix it at the origin. To get that list back, uh, insert components there. And we can hit this little push pin, and that will keep this window visible after we keep placing components. So next we'll place one of the sides. And we'll pull it in roughly there. And uh, that'll work. And now I'm going to mate that. So, oh, it's ready. That's right, it's ready to place another one. We might as well do that. We'll put the other one over here. Okay. And I'm going to hit escape because I don't want a third side. There's escape. And now we're ready to mate. So we're going to mate that surface to that surface and hit the green check. Then we hit that surface to that surface, green check. And finally, that to that, green check. Okay, we have one mated. Next one, that to that, green check. That to that, green check. And orient reoriented green check there, and finally that to that, green check. Okay, so our box is coming together. Now let's mate uh, or insert the back of the model. So I'm going to hit check to get out of mate, go back to the insert menu, and let's put in the back pattern. Okay, that'll be fine. I'm going to hit F to reorient this. And this will be aligned with that service. Oh, I forgot to hit mate. That's right. So hit escape, hit mate. That is aligned with that. Green check. That is aligned with that. Green check. And now you can either do bottom or top. That aligned with that green check. Okay, so we have our four sides, or the front back on the two sides. And let's now put in the bottom. Bottom. And you notice um, all of the parts are coming in in the right orientation. That is, the bottom is oriented correctly. Um, and the reason they're coming in that way is that when I chose the planes to draw them on each of the individual parts, I had in mind how they would be oriented in the final one. If you didn't do that, you certainly are not in, it's not a problem, we just need, we just need to reorient them um, to get them to line up. And that would be done as part of the mating process, or there are other ways to do it, and I'm doing that again. So let's hit mate, that to that. Then we wanna mate, oh, green check that to that, green check, and finally that to that, green check. Okay, so now we have our box, uh, four sides on a bottom, and I'm not going to put the top on yet because I want to do some cutouts as my next step. So let's hit check to get out of mate, and now we're going to use a, um, a special feature of SOLIDWORKS. But uh, first, this is a good time to save our assembly. So I'm going to save that and place it in the same folder as my box. And I'll call this the box. Okay. 
the special feature is that we can make modifications to these parts based on the assembly of other parts. So it's different than editing a part just on its own. Now we're editing the part in the context of an assembly. So for example, what do we want? We want this set of finger joints to not share material, right? So the front we've designed with cutouts and we do want the side to come up and fill this space. We do not want the side to come up and fill that space, but it is in fact trying to do that right now. There's two volumes that are occupying this corner right there. So the way that we do this is we click on the right click on the part that we want to change. Okay, and then we use this thing called edit part. So this is different than editing a part on its own. This is editing a part in the context of an assembly. So I have to be in the assembly model to do this. So that's edit part. I'm going to left click on that. And and you notice this edit component pops up. And that lets me know that I'm in it. And the other way I know is that it's now in blue, that part. So the screen didn't change, but we're in a different mode. And we have access to different tools. The tool that we want is actually not in the tools menu. And it's, it is an odd placement for this. It's in the insert menu, even though we're taking material away. It's under molds. And it's strange, we're not making a mold, but this is the easiest way to do it and the way SolidWorks does it. And in particular, what we want is called cavity. Okay, so insert molds cavity. And now it says, what are your design components? And that means, what is the component that is going to modify the part that we are currently editing? Well, for this one, it would be the front, so I'm going to click that, and it would also be the back. And I did not need to hold the shift key for this. It um, recognizes that we're going to populate more than one. And you can leave this all the same. And now we're going to click check for cavity, and it has now made a cutout. We're not out of the editing component yet. We're still in that mode, but I think you can see this is the clean lines here indicate that uh, this part has been cut out to allow this part and that part to fit with it. Uh, whereas we've not finished that process for the bottom. And since we use the same part on both sides, it's the exact same file, it fits here just as well. Okay, so that is a really awesome feature of a solid modeler like SolidWorks. And now we want to uh, get out of that mode of editing this part. So click on Edit Component, and we're out of it. Notice these are all black now. So we have our finger joints made there. And as you might guess, this is the next one we're going to do. And this is a piece of cake. We just repeat what we just did. This is the bottom. So I'm going to right click on bottom, Edit Part. Now I'm in the editing mode for that part with the blue and that. I go to Insert, Molds, Cavity. Now what, is, what are the components that are going to affect or um, cut out of that part? And it's going to be all four of them. One, two, three, four. And all four are populated. Click OK and the cutout has been performed. And now you can see that that part is looking like it should. Uh, we can verify all this, of course, by going to the individual parts. Let me save what I've done. And now let me go to a side and let's take a look at it. Aha! And this is what that cavity feature did. It inserted a, a new feature, or the cavity tool, inserted a new feature into this model, and this is based upon the back and the front. So that's a modification to the part file based on the assembly within which it lives. Similarly, if we go to the bottom, it has a cavity feature based on all four of the parts that made it. Okay. 
Now let's go back to our assembly. And the only thing left to do is get out of this mode. We're still in the edit component mode because we have the blue there. So let's click that. And now we're actually back to the assembly like we normally think of it. And just for the sake of keeping this video uh, of a reasonable length, I'm going to stop this one here. And the next video will pick up uh, putting the top on and different ways of designing the top and the sides.